Hey, what's going on everybody? It's gonna be a new video for the channel here. Normally I post a lot of iRacing stuff, but this time around, we're gonna show you what I do for a living. I am an Amazon truck driver. Uh, normally I do local stuff, but this trip I am doing an OTR run from Rialto, California to El Paso, Texas and back. So pretty excited about that. Um, this will be my second OTR run. Uh, my first was in a day cab with uh, a Freightliner, Cascadia. Uh, I went to Tucson, Arizona and back. And uh, now I get to go to El Paso, Texas. Um, uh, oops. So that's pretty cool. I've been, uh, I've had my, uh-oh, looks like I'm going to need my cutters for this. I've had my CDL now since the beginning of February, so about a month. And I've been working for this particular company for uh, about three weeks. <clears throat> and I love it. Um, <clears throat> I love the fact that I can work three days a week and be home and I can do these OTR runs when I want to, not forced to. I do it for the money. They pay a little bit more, so that's cool. My particular company. Um, I, used, I used to deliver packages for the DSPs. Now we're truck driving. Um, normally I drive a Freightliner Cascadia's. Check the wheels here. Um, but today I'm driving a Peterbilt. It's a nice sleeper cab Peterbilt. It's maiden voyage. Get to the other side here i'll give you a little oh that's no big deal that's just the idle if it idles too long hop up in here give the tour real quick and then we gotta get out of here get out of the yard but yep this is a peterbilt this is what i got um you know it's it's a nice peterbilt brand new like i said this is the maiden voyage for this particular peterbilt and uh man i'm really excited about it got my fridge here got a nice bunk laid out my weighted blanket F fridge here got some Got some drink stuff in there. Stuff for the road. Nice cabinets. Brought my laptop. Nice mirror. Hey. My hair's a little messed up. Um turn that down. And then uh the mosey on down the road. Um, man, this thing is really, really nice to drive. Um, it's a lot smoother than, like I said, the Freightliner Cascadias that I normally drive uh, for work. Um, this thing is super smooth. The seat is comfortable. It's really homey in here. I, I like it a lot. Um, you know, it's just a really small RV, basically. You know? <clears throat> um, oh yeah, I got, you know, TV back there. I'll be uh, 
turning on some trailer park boys later for that. Um, so I'm coming from Southern California on this trip to El Paso. I'm probably gonna stop in Blythe for a break. If you've never been to Blythe, it's like right on the border of California and Arizona uh, for my lunch break. And then um, I'll probably get as far as Tucson or a little further than Tucson before I have to take my reset and chill out for the night. And uh, I'll vlog some more then and uh, kind of get started on uh, some of the things that make the Amazon Freight program pretty cool. Like I said, I've been doing this now for, you know, about three weeks. All right, there we go. Sorry about that. Um, let's see, I'm still learning this thing. <laughs> Still learning this thing. Um, I had to stop at the guard shack there. Um, he thought that for whatever reason that I, I wasn't cleared to go, but you know, gave me the green green light, said I was good to go. So now we're rolling. Oh yeah. Beautiful, beautiful Peterbilt truck. And uh, that'll probably be an edit. <laughs> um, going through here, uh, I mean, look, a nice digital dash as well we got here. Um, it hasn't glitched out on me yet. Although I've seen some YouTube videos of the Peterbilt um, digital dashes glitching out. Um, at around 15,000 miles, but this is still kind of a new truck. You know, there's only 14,000 miles on it. So hopefully we don't see any problems with it. Um, it's on an automatic. And uh, I love that. I trained on a manual. Uh, I got trained old school. Didn't train on an automatic, got trained on a manual. Yeah, man, I, I started out with um, the Amazon DSP uh, in March of 2021 when COVID was still kind of going rampant here in California, a lot of shutdowns. Um, I originally started going to school at Penn State University for labor and human resources. Um, I'm originally from Michigan, Northern Michigan, Traverse City. Um, and then I, I moved to California uh, to be with my now fiance, whom I met on a study abroad in Germany. Um, I studied abroad and lived in Berlin, Germany for a school year and uh, met her. And well, if the relationship was gonna continue, one of us had to move, so we compromised. So I moved to Southern California to be with her. <laughs> um, but I don't regret it, man. I, I know it was during COVID and it was at the time that a lot of people, you know, were leaving California. There's still people leaving California, but you know, I do really like it here. Um, I do miss a lot of things about the Midwest, you know, being from Michigan, I do miss seeing the water. Um, I don't miss the snow, but, um, I, I do miss the water. I, I do miss, um, it, it was a little less populated, you know, a little less crazy. Um, life was moved a lot slower um, there in, in the Midwest than here in, in California. A lot of, you know, hustle and bustle, and especially where I live here in Southern California. I'm, um, you know, a half hour east of Los Angeles. So there's a lot of hustle and bustle, a lot of stuff going on all the time. One of the things I love about living here though, is the trucking industry is huge out here. You know, there's a lot of major ports out here, a lot of warehousing. Um, 
it, and it, they continue to build. Um, so the transportation industry out here in Southern California is actually really alive and well. And there's plenty of opportunity out here for anybody who's still out here and wants to get in to trucking. This is um, a good time to do it. Um, I got really lucky. This is my first trucking job. I didn't have to, you know, go on the road for six weeks or or whatever with like Swift or Western Express or anything like that. I I got hired directly um, by my current employer um, because I've been in the Amazon system now for the last couple of years and I kind of know how Amazon operates for the most part so it was an easy transition um, from the delivery side to uh, here I don't really have any videos of me delivering even though I really should have but probably would have helped the channel out a lot but um, you know there's plenty of youtubers out there who do the same thing Yeah, I was saying before, though I moved here to Southern California uh, to be with my now fiance, and um, she went to Whittier College, was a private school uh, in Los Angeles um, for marketing, and uh, you know she discovered that like you know the office job really wasn't for her. Same for me, you know the office job just really isn't for me yet. Um, I moved out here. I got a job as a recruiter for a solar company in Riverside. And then I actually got laid off from that company because they shut our office in Riverside down and they wanted me to move to Sacramento and I kind of didn't want to move to Sacramento again because I had only worked there for three months. And then they decided to lay off that division there in Riverside and wanted me to move to Sacramento. And I was like, no, I really don't want to move to Sacramento. And they were like, well, that's cool. If anything changes, you know, you can always come back or whatever. And I just left on good terms, everything, you know, I, I just never went back. <laughs> so. Yeah, I have a four-year college degree, and I went and tried the whole Amazon delivery driving thing because I didn't want to really move, and I also didn't want another recruiting job or an HR job just yet. I didn't want to sit in an office. I wasn't ready for that yet. I kind of wanted to be active, so I was like, eh, I'm going to go be an Amazon delivery driver. You know? So I just I went and got it. I did it, and gained some experience in the transportation industry and um, then my fiance also at the time was having an internship and um, for a real estate company and she was hating life and I was like well why don't you come and do this with me so I got her on board with the same company at uh, you know an Amazon DSP in Riverside and we worked at that same company together for you know over a year and a half and then we switched to another company in Redlands um, because it's closer so it was like six miles from our apartment and we're like well hell yeah I mean we ain't gotta spend money on gas no commute because I know people commute out here you know f for a couple of hours like they'll they'll commute from like Redlands or even further than that you know in LA into work and come home just to live in the suburb I, that's crazy to me um, so you know we were like hey we can cut down our commute here so we decided to do it we did it together um, you know we had one car there for a little while afterwards um, so we tried to save some money and then you know, it all worked out. I ended up buying a brand new truck and now she has a brand new Ford Maverick. And during that time, you know, after peak season, you know, we decided to finally go to uh, 
or, or to finish trucking school. We were already in trucking school in Riverside during peak season while we were delivering. And uh, that was really tough. We made, it. we made it through and she got her CDL as did I and now we both work for the same company again. <laughs> um, driving big rigs. Um, it was nice. It was a big pay raise for us and working three days a week versus you know killing yourself delivering Amazon packages you know four sometimes five days a week we worked five days a week sometimes six days a week during like prime week or during peak because you wanted the money we ain't got to do all that now so it's been really nice and our quality of life has improved immensely um, since getting this job and uh, we really like our we really like our AFP AFP is Amazon Freight Partner uh, for those of you who don't know um, I don't work directly for Amazon I work for a freight partner so it's like contractor similar to like what FedEx does with both their delivery and trucking stuff um, but it's been really good man it's been a great experience uh, so far and uh, you know I'm really looking forward to uh, learning more and, and trucking more and I'm really excited about it I'm, I'm just really excited and uh, yeah when uh, we get out of um, Southern California here and we start progressing more um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, talk to you guys some more um, thank you for visiting the channel um, if you haven't yet uh, please like this video and subscribe if you want to see more um, I'm gonna be uploading a lot more uh, videos to the channel now regarding uh, Amazon trucking and uh, what I do at my particular AFP here on the West Coast and uh, yeah see you guys in a bit